So you know the story about Jacob and Esau, the two brothers who just don't get along. They are twins, but uh, Esau comes out just a little bit first. Jacob's like holding on to his heel, and from there they just... This, it's going to be rough, you guys. So, um, I, I don't know, Jacob tricks Esau into selling away his birthright for some stew. Uh, shrewd negotiator, that one. Esau does his best, does all the things right, just not too smart in the brain, very much not a forward thinker. Uh, there's even the time where Isaac is getting ready to die. Um, he's old, he's blind, he can't see anything. And so he sends Esau out to hunt to come up with a, a last great meal for him that he would bless him. And Isaac and his mom, bless her heart, uh, they come up with this, this plan uh, that they're going to dress up like Esau, Isaac. They're going to put fur on him. They're going to make him smell the same. Uh, and then uh, his mom's going to make the food, dress him up that he could go and steal the blessing. And, well, it, it works. Uh, Jacob goes uh, dressed up like Esau, steals the blessing from him, and Esau doesn't get it. Everybody's mad. Except not really. So here's the thing. This is actually me. I am the blessing thief. I am the one who dresses up to look like Jesus, to have everything that he has rightfully earned. Jesus is the one who fulfills the law. Jesus is the one who does everything that the Father demands. Jesus is the one who fulfills all righteousness. Jesus is the one who prepares the great meal. And I just sort of slip in at the last minute dressed like him because I'm baptized. Because you're baptized. Your baptism tells you whoever is baptized into Christ has put on Christ the same way that Jacob covers himself with everything that looks like Esau you cover yourself with everything that looks like Jesus and you stand before the father and you say blessing please and he gives it your blessing does not stand on your works your blessing does not stand on your behavior your inheritance does not stand on anything that you do but on what something that somebody else did Jacob receives a blessing based on who Esau was what Esau should have done y you you get the blessing because of what Christ has fulfilled. Your baptism seals you into God's kingdom because you steal it from Jesus. It, it is unrighteous in all of regard because it's not supposed to be fair. What's wonderful, though, is that Jesus knows it and he gives it to you. He says, this is how you dress up like me. Splash a little bit of water, saying the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And here you are God's child. You see, everything that gets us into the resurrection of the body isn't going to be fair because it's not our work. In fact, it's, it's on somebody else's back, Jesus's. Thanks be to God for it. I'm the blessing thief. I look like Jesus because I'm baptized. So do you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.